Welcome to SAPAnalyticsTutorial.com. Now in this session we see about decimal data type. Decimal data type is defined with symbol P. Syntax for defining this data type is variable name type P decimals followed by number of decimal places. In this line 8 you can see I defined a variable LV underscore 1 of type P with number of decimal places 3. If I want decimal places 5 then I have to replace 3 with 5. In this example I defined two variables LV1 LV2 and assigned two values to it and then I added these two values and saved the result under LV underscore result. Let's see the output of this program. Thirty point nine four five is my output. So in the output we have a number with showing three decimal places. For example, I want to save five decimal places and in this variable, then I have to define this variable with the decimals five. Next point is even though I defined decimal places three, we can assign a bigger value here. LV underscore 1 is equal to 10.52567. I, I given 5, I like I assigned 5 decimal places to this variable, but I defined with 3 decimal. Then what happens? Let's see the output by printing this variable on output screen. So 10.526 you see even though it is I assigned five decimal places here it is showing three only because that data type that variable defined with three decimals and if we see here 525 after that we have the fourth digit decimal as six then system rounds this value to three decimals and 526 was printed on console. 5 to 6. So system will do rounding automatically. Now let us change the data type of this result variable to integer and we are adding two decimal numbers and saving the output in a integer variable and let's see how the result looks like. So 31 we got as 31. So what happened is um, it was rounding whatever output we got from LV1 plus LV2 that output will be rounded to integer and that output is displaying on the console. So this is called typecasting. So in decimal number is typecasting to integer same like integer can be typecasted to decimal 